Hi, this is JP from Not the Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another campaign playthrough of the Arkham Horror LCG. And this time we are continuing Patrice's journey through the return to the path to Carcosa. We are in the last king scenario. And first of all, let's look what changes I made to the deck with the two XP I got from the last scenario. Okay, and we are over on ArkhamDB.com and there aren't a lot of changes to the deck. I only added uh, one card, removing one of the Stray Cats, and that one card is Miss Doyle. Miss Doyle is a really good card for Patrice, as I have found during my plays with her. So I only added this card, so I have one experience banked for later. My goal is to get at least 3 XP from this scenario, so I can add 2 copies of Cornered into the deck, but we'll see how that goes. So nothing major uh, to the deck has changed, so we'll hop over to the scenario and start playing. Okay, and uh, as you can see we have set up the scenario. I have all the uh, party guests play in play. Uh, we have the uh, Isimaru Haruko over at the dining room. Then we have uh, Actually, I have to check if I have the locations set up correctly, just a moment. So we have the dining room, ballroom underneath. Okay, so uh, these should be reversed. Yeah, I usually do this <laughs> mistake when I'm setting up the scenario. So uh, then we have the gallery and living room. Yeah, everything is correct now. So uh, we have Ishimaru Haruko in the dining room, Ashley Clark in the ballroom. Then we have Jordan Perry in the gallery, Sebastian Moreau in the living room, and Constance Dumaine in the courtyard. We start in the foyer, and there is one clue there. And we will need to investigate and uh, talk to the party guests to get clues. But before we hop into the game, uh, we have the Damned in play. We have to take one reversed tarot card and also I am playing with the balanced reading so we will draw one uh, ups, upside or correct uh, side up tarot card and also uh, one reversed so we'll just give the tarot deck a quick shuffling and draw the tarot cards before we start the game so I think that is enough. So the uh, correct side up is uh, the Hierophant during the first willpower test. Uh, an investigator performs each round, uh, they get plus one willpower. Well, that is helpful for, for the couple of um, guests we have to interview. Then we get a, a reversed one. During the first agility test, each investigator performs the uh, they get minus one uh, agility, and this is the uh, the Empress. Okay, and the last one from the Damned is the Devil. Uh, each investigator has three fever slots, each of a different type chosen by that investigator when the game begins. Okay, so let's see what we have less. Okay, so the rest of these go back. We don't use them for the rest of the game. Mm, I think I'll choose the slots now. So I'll mark them on my player board, so I can't play assets on them. Well, uh, we have one less uh, tarot slot, one less, I think, uh, body slot. And do I want to have arcane or hands? Well, I opt to have one less hand slot. Well, the violin is a hand slot. This is a th this last one is a tough one. Mm. Let's go with the hand slot. I think that is okay. Uh, the spells are more important. So uh, that is the setup done. So let's get started. We are ready to begin, so I'll draw my opening hand. One, two, three, four, five. 
So got six sense, fire axe, mysterious raven, and unexpected courage. Uh, I think I'll discard these three. I'll keep this and draw three cards. So we get unexpected courage, manual dexterity, and weak designs. Okay. We shuffle the Mulligant cards back into the deck and start playing. So I think uh, we'll head up to in interview Sebastian Moreau soon enough because we got the boost for the willpower, which is good. And uh, we start from there. So let's see. First action. We'll play the Six Sense. Uh, we will immediately investigate with the Six Sense. Or should we? Well, there are not that many clues on the location, so I think the Mysterious Raven is not that useful. We'll just commit it. Uh, the rest are okay. Well, we'll investigate using the Six Sense. So, uh, I am investigating uh, 5 versus 2. Let's go to 6 versus 2. It is a minus 1. We'll grab the first clue here. Then, we'll move to the living room. This is a tree shroud location, and uh, after you perform a parlay action in the living room, draw one card. And that is our whole turn. We ready up, we discard our hand. We draw a new hand. One, two, three, four, five. We get the Spectral Razor, Shriveling, Mr. Mists of Relay, uh, Fire Axe, and Moonstone. So next turn, we will play the Shriveling and parlay twice. Discard the rest, I think. And we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom to the agenda. First car, uh, encounter card of the game is... Fine Dining, Peril, Revelation. You must either place one of your clues on a bystander asset in play or take one horror and one damage. I'll take the one horror and one damage. And that is resolved. Then um, I will play the Shriveling. So we have a means to fight and investigate. Mists would be good, but our uh, arcane slots are full already. So we'll just place the charges on Shriveling and start uh, questioning. Sebastian Moreau. So Sebastian uh, is parlay test willpower 3 to get information about the production from Sebastian. If you succeed, take control of one of the clues on Sebastian Moreau. Forced when this last clue is removed from Sebastian Moreau, flip this card over and resolve its text. So first we will parlay. So uh, let's see, we get a plus one for this. I'll commit Spectral. Oh no, uh, we'll commit this to the second one. So we are um, parlaying five versus three. It is a skull. Reveal another token. If you fail, place one Doom on a lunatic enemy in play. It is a zero, so we pass, and that is okay. We grab one of the clues on Sebastian. Then, uh, after you perform a parlay action in the living room, draw a card. We get perception. Uh, last action, we'll parlay again, and now I'll commit the Spectral Razor to the test. So, again, we are five versus three. It is a minus two, so we passed. 
So good thing we committed that card. So we get the last clue on Sebastian. We flip Sebastian over. We read the fluff text and remember that you interviewed Sebastian. Flip this card back over to its bystanders uh, asset side. So one of five guests interviewed and that is a good start after two turns. Uh, now enemy actions will go upkeep. We ready, we discard our hand. Uh, we don't have resources to play the Moonstone unfortunately, but it is what it is. Uh, then we draw a new hand of five cards. Five cards there. Okay. Mm, Scrunch for supplies, guts, uh, spectral rates of shriveling on red. Read the signs. And we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. And I forgot to add clues on Constantine, so I'll add them now. Okay. Uh, we add a doom to the agenda. Two of uh, three. <coughs> Encounter card is uh, Deluri Delusory Evils. Peril hidden revelation. You must either secretly add the delivery of e de Delusory Evils to your hand. Or place one doom on the current agenda and discard kill. Okay. When you would succeed at a skill test by three or more, automatically fail instead discard. So I'll just take this in hand. Well, um, yeah, this could cause the agenda to advance, so we don't want to do that. Okay. Um, let's see what we can do this round. Scrunch for supplies. Mm. Well, uh, let's look at the guests. So we should go over to investigate or talk to Ashley Clark. Uh, next round. Uh, because we don't have the resources to talk to Jordan and uh, if you have six or more cards in hand, well, we need to draw a card in interview, so that is hard. So, I think uh, we this turn we'll move back to the foyer, move to the ballroom. So ballroom reads, uh, round of four, after you perform a parlay action in the ballroom, gain two resources, group limit once per phase, so we'll sum up resources for talking to Jordan later. And last action. Is there anything interesting we could do? We need two actions to um, parlay with uh, Ashley, so we can't do that yet. So should we scrounge for supplies? No. Should we do anything else? I think not. We'll just gain a resource. And that is our turn. Uh, no enemy actions will go to upkeep. This can't be uh, discarded. We discard our hand. We draw one, two, three, four cards. We get uh, winging it, Miss Doyle, drawn to the flame and old key root. So I think we will be playing uh, Miss Doyle next round. But that is that round. Let's go to then. Uh, let's see. Did we? And we gain a resource, yeah. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, so we add a doom. So agenda advances. So better never than late advances. And uh, find the bystander asset with the fewest clues on it. Among bystander asset with at least one clue spawn. The set aside dying, div uh, dying divine asset at that asset's location. Shuffle shocking display into the encounter deck along with the encounter discard pile. So we'll get the encounter discard pile. We spawn uh, that and we sh uh, shuffle the shocking display into the encounter deck. Okay, let's see. Well, um, I think we'll just spawn uh, Diane Divine at uh, Jordan. Jordan Perry's location because I think we can 
interview Ashley and then interview Haruko and leave the rest. Maybe that's enough for us. But we'll see how the uh, scenario advances. So we have shoveled those. We'll place uh, Diane Divine there. So this is from the return to version. So each investigator at Diane Divine's location cannot discover or take control of clues. Post at the beginning of enemy phase, find the bystander asset with the fewest clues on on it among bystander assets with at least one clue. Move Diane Divine to that asset's location if able. Okay, so let's think about this for a moment. So uh, we need to grab one clue from Ashley. Then uh, Diane will move there. Then we will move to uh, Haruko and start interviewing her. And I think that is our plan. So, yeah, first of all, we will play Miss Doyle. So, Miss Doyle is three uh, resources. Then uh, we will get one of her cats into play. I'll shuffle these and get one. Let's see what which one we get. Okay, so we get Zeal. So Zeal will help us fight. Well, uh, could be useful. And we shuffle uh, Hope and Augur into our deck. And that is uh, the first action. Then we will do the double action to get one of the clues of, of Ashley. So double action, we'll grab one of these clues and that is our turn. Enemy phase, uh, Diane Divine moves here. We can't get the last clue yet. And no other enemy actions, we'll go to upkeep, we discard our hand. We draw a new hand. We get uh, drawn to the flame, promise of power, all keyring and mist of relay. And we still have the delusory of evils in hand. And we gain a resource. Oh yeah, and we got two resources after piling this. So we have actually three resources in play. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well, we'll add a Doom encounter card for this round is uh, Fragile Thoughts, Revelation, discard events from your hand with a total printed resource cost of at least X, where X is the shroud value of your location. If no cards are discarded by this effect, Fragile Thoughts can search. So, events, let's see, do we have any events? We have one, but it's zero. We have to discard uh, cards. At least for well, um, so I think that gain search. We don't want to discard any. Second card is uh, marked by the sign. Test build part two. If you fail, take two. Or if the man in the pallet mass is in play, or dealt by this effect is considered a direct horror. At the test has plus two difficulty. So. We will just test this. Uh, we are testing 5 versus 2. And if we succeed by 3 or more, the delusory evils will trigger. It is an auto fail, so we fail. And uh, let's see, we take 2 horror. And it is not uh, direct, so. Well, I have plenty of horror, so I'll just take it. So. Uh, Let's think first action. We will draw a card. Okay, <laughs> we get the uh, Watcher from another dimension. And then we'll move to the dining room. It is a two shroud location. Action heal one horror. Then reveal a random token from the Chaos Bag. If it's a skull or Othel symbol, uh, take one horror and place one doom on the dining room. Okay. 
last action we will uh, let's see we will interview Haruko because we have six cards in hand uh, it is uh, will part two test the question Haruko if you should take one control of one of her clues okay uh, we are testing five uh, let's see we already made a wheel test so four versus two we only want to succeed by one or something like that so four versus two zero we grab one of the clues and that was our last action so enemy face I think uh, we will just uh, try again next turn to get the last clue uh, we have five and we are aiming at six clues at least in this scenario so that we get the free experience so we won't move uh, die and divine because these have both only one clue on them uh, then uh, we will discard our hand, except the weakness or the treachery, so we lose these cards. Do we have any triggers? No. We draw three cards, one, two, three. So we have uh, unexpected courage, guts, perception. And that is our turn. And we gain our resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom, so 2 of 3, and counter card is Bleeding Walls, test willpower, X, where X is the Shroud value of your location, if you fail, lose one action and take a horror. So we are testing 5 versus 2, we pretty much want to fail this, probably, I don't know, well, it's an auto fail, so let's see, uh, we lose one action. We take one horror. I'll place it on my door. No, I'll place it on myself. And uh, that is it. So, uh, first action we'll draw a card. So that we have six. One, two, three, four, five, six cards in hand. Then we will interview Ishimaru Haruko. Four versus two. So we don't want to passed by three or more minus two so right on the money so we grab the clue we flip Haruko over so the pattern uh, fluff text and remember that you interviewed Haruko flip this card back over to the bystander asset side and that is all we can do uh, Diane divine won't move anywhere so we'll go to upkeep we ready up we discard our hand, we draw three cards, we get last chance, a test of will and promise of power. Uh, then uh, we'll gain a resource, so that is that round, let's go to the next round. So we will add a doom to the agenda, so actually it advances. Let's flip it over. Uh, uh, when, yeah, we won't flip it over. When this agenda would advance by reaching its doom threshold, instead remove all doom in play and randomly resolve one of the sickening reality cards underneath the scenario reference card. If there are no cards underneath the scenario reference card, advance to agenda two B instead. And uh, I have the sickening realities over here, so we'll shuffle these and grab the bottom one so we don't have any hint of what we are drawing okay i think that is shuffled enough so we get ishimaru haruko okay well <coughs> worst case scenario so we have to fight ishimaru so Ishimaru Haruko is a 6 fight, 4 health and 3 evade hunter 
monster lunatic elite force. After you deal damage to Ishimaru Haruko by an effect other than an attack, draw the top card of the encounter deck. Okay, well, that complicates things quite a bit. Mm. I think this round will be fighting with seal, or actually double shriveling. So, uh, we won't take the encounter cars then. Uh, well, that is a shame. So, oh yeah, and we still need to draw the encounter card. Another delusory of evils, well, that sucks. I'll actually just add the doom. We don't want both of these to trigger. So, first action, we will shrivel, I will commit, uh, well, let's count, so we are testing 5 versus 6, so we need to buff this up, uh, 9 versus 6, and we add one curse token to the back. So, 9 vs 6, we want to get a minus, well, <laughs> it is a minus 1, so we don't succeed by 3 or more, we deal 2 damage, we'll shrivel again, this time we are uh, 4 vs 6, so we commit a test of will, Okay, we can't commit. We'll commit the last chance, so we get. Hmm. Yeah, we get plus two. Uh, so we are six versus six. So that is no not good odds. So. Oh yeah, and. Yeah, we can't commit anymore, so we'll have to try our best to hit here. It is a skull, so we reveal another token. And if we fail, we place one doom on the lunatic enemy, and I think Haruko is a lunatic enemy. Okay, so minus two. So we fail. So we place one two at Haruko. And uh, that is a shame. We'll try to. Oh, yeah, and we revealed a skull, so we take a horror. Now I placed a Miss Doyle. I will try to shrivel again. Now I'll commit this one. We are testing five versus six, so. We really need to, well, this is a long shot, but it is what it is, so 5 versus 6. It is plus 1, so we defeat Ishimaru Haruko, goes to the victory display, I'll just place that there. We get, we get a breather now, so nothing else happens. We discard our hand, uh, we'll go to upkeep. We draw two, uh, three cards, last chance, uh, look what I found on the winging it, and we gain a resource. So that was that round, let's go to the next round. We add another doom, two of three, and count the card for this round is uh, fine dining. You must either place one of your clues on a bystander asset in play, or take one horror and one damage. Again, I will take the Horror. So five of seven and one damage. Okay. 
let's think about it for a moment. So uh, we could go to the courtyard to talk to Constance Dumain. It is a in intellect free test. So let's see. We have some good boost cards for that test. So we'll try our best. Uh, first action. We'll move to the courtyard. So, uh, courtyard reads uh, first after you enter the courtyard, discard the top card of the encounter deck. If it is an enemy, draw it. And it is not an enemy. So, lucky break there. Second action, we will uh, parlay. Look at what I found. So we are uh, 4 versus 3 for this test. Mm. Oh, yeah, this doesn't have any symbols, so. Curse token, so we are. Uh, Two versus three, so we need a plus one to succeed. Minus one. Well, the curse goes away. We fail. Uh, last action, we'll just try again. And we'll commit the last chance to the test, so... Uh, we have three cards in hand, so let's see what we get. So, mm, plus two, so four versus three. Uh, minus two, we fail. That is a shame. No enemy actions will discard our hand. Draw a new hand of one, two, three. Our deck is running pretty low, so I think we need to start thinking of uh, resigning before the Watcher hits us. So we get the Mysterious Raven and hope. At least we have some uh, and six cents. So we have a bunch of icons to commit next round. Uh, okay, let's think. I'm just so we're ready. We got a resource, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, we still need three more resources to go into Jordan. So uh, Diane moves at the beginning of the enemy phase. Find the bystander and leave the previous clues on it. So we can move, if we get one clue from here, we can move this off of Ashley and go just talk to Ashley. We'll see how we will do. But that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We are a doom, so this advances, unfortunately. We will resolve another uh, sickening reality. Let's see what we get. Uh, we get Ashley, so Ashley drops the clue. So, um, we can forget about that. Well, this actually helps us a bit. So Ashley is removed. This drops here. We can go... Uh, we can go investigate that location. Okay. Then we get the encounter card, and it is the palette. Pale mass beckons. If the man in the pale mass is in play, he attacks its investigator in play order, regardless of the current location. If the man in pale mass is not in play, set so his peer's deck and discard pile for him, draw him, and shuffle his peer's deck. So we get the man in the pale mass into play. Okay, let's actually count our deck 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We don't have many turns before we deck out, which is not good. We'll place at the farthest location, we are connected to each location, so we'll just place it to the dining room. Okay, and uh, that was the mythos phase done, first action. We will uh, parlay Ashley, or um, Constance Dumain, I mean. We'll commit uh, hope 
a mysterious raven and six cents to the test. We are testing five versus three. It is a minus one. We'll grab one clue. So let's see, we have we still need one more clue, so we could just go and investigate. The Ashley Clark's location, but uh, she has Hunter, so we'll move. Let's think. No, um, do we have any means to get this last clue from? Constance, no, not really. Don't have any icons in hand. And uh, could run John and Perry get the resource and uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Get the resource. Move, move. No, that's not yeah. Well, if the Watcher hits us, we won't die, so maybe we just ignore that. So... Um, that was the first action. Well, second action... So... Maybe we gain a resource. Okay, let's do this. Uh, we'll gain a resource. Last action, we'll move to the gallery. So, post. After you end your turn at the gallery, test will part two. If you fail, place one of your clues on the gallery. I think that's okay. And. Uh, We'll test that is our turn, so we test uh, We are four uh, have, We haven't done any willpower tests, so five versus two Skull Minus two, that's okay And uh, Ashley We'll mark Ashley. So Ashley starts hunting us. Oh yeah, start of the enemy base. Uh, Diane Divine moves to Constance Domain. Ashley will hunt to the courtyard. And that is the enemy base, so we ready up. We discard a hand, we draw five cards. One, two, three, four. Oh no, we draw three cards. We get Augur, uh, Fire Axe and Patrice's Violin. And uh, we gain a resource. So we have nine resources. So we need one and then we can uh, uh, talk to Jordan. Okay, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We had a doom, encounter card is party guest. Uh, find a bystander asset with the most clues on it. <sighs> and put party guest in the play at asset location. Investigators cannot parlay with bystander asset at party guest's location. Spend two resources, parlay more. Move party guest to a connecting location. Well, there goes our plan. Mm. So, I think we will move, uh, move, investigate, no, move, move, move. Next turn we will, do we have enough horror? Okay, so, uh, maybe we'll just move, move, resign. This is getting out of hand at this moment. So, uh, we can't get this clue, 
we can't get here without moving through uh, Ashley and taking a bunch of ore to investigate. And uh, uh, we really don't need that one extra uh, one extra victory point from this scenario to get what we want for the next one. So. Uh, we'll chicken out and we'll just do it. Let's see. Uh, this was the count card. Yes. So, uh, first action will move. Second action will move. Last action we will resign. We drop these clues onto the uh, agenda or act. Uh, then uh, find as many clues as you can, then get out of this awful place. When an investigator is eliminated, well, we are not. So we advance this act, well, we don't. <laughs> Madness, uh, extremely foolish behavior, a state of frenzy or chaotic activity. When you are, why are you looking at this side? There is no reason to click to act 1B, click back to 1A. Yeah, okay. So we just place this here. And uh, I think the resign was here. And the, okay. Well, we all have resigned, so let's go to the resolution. So, if no resolution was reached and at least one investigator resigned, go to resolution one. In your campaign log under VIPs interviewed, record the name of each character you interviewed. So we got. Uh, Haruko and uh, Sebastian. Then uh, we slayed Haruko. Uh, East investigator earns experience equal to the victory X value of each picture display. That is zero for eight. every two clues that were on the act deck when the game ended. Choose an investigator to earn one additional experience point. Experience from this reward must be divided as evenly among the investigators as possible. Then uh, we have one, two, three uh, experience worth of clues, so we get three experience. So now we have four, so we have two, enough for two cornered for Patrice's next scenario. And we proceed to interlude one Runas's reward. Then we have to do, uh, choose to either uh, uh, things seem to have calmed down, perhaps we should go back inside and investigate further. Or, um, I don't trust this place one bit, let's block the door and get the hell out of here. Or, if these people are allowed to leave, these horrors will only repeat themselves. We have to put an end to this, we have to kill them. So, Patrice doesn't feel like a really brave uh, heroine that would kill everybody. So, I think... We will just um, barricade the door and get the hell out of here. So we get the uh, Lunasis reward too. And uh, that door isn't going to stop them in your camper log. Record that you fled the dinner party. Remove all cultist tablet and uh, elder thin tokens from the back. Then add two tablet tokens to the back. And we continue to echoes of the past. So that was uh, Return to the Last King. I uh, hope you guys like this playthrough, look forward to the e return to the Echoes of the Past scenario, which I will play next for Patrice. Thanks for watching and until next time.